Hey guys, today we're going to do a couple Cornish game hens on my Ninja Footy Grill and Griddle. You're going to want to stick around for this one for sure. Let's get started. We're going to get these little chickens. I mean, let's just say, I mean, they look like little chickens, right? We're going to get them ready to go. We already got them out of the package, dried them off, got them ready. Now we got to do a little dry brine on them. Now I do a dry brine on pretty much any of my proteins and these little baby chickens or little Cornish hens are no exception okay we got the salt on there for the dry burning process i did a little trimming of a little bit of the the back skin the fat the little chicken butt that you know you don't eat so i cut that off then we started the process of dry burning with salting it okay now with the dry brine it's just salting it letting it sit air out a little bit let that salt draw out the moisture and then it draws in the flavor of the salt back into the meat. So we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna dry out the skin a little bit, hopefully help in the crisping process. And that's it. All right, so we've already got that taken care of. Just a little kosher salt, cover the bird, a little bit in the cavity, let it sit for about an hour or so, up to overnight, however you wanna do it. All right, just that easy. We're going to use the roast setting on my Ninja Foodie. So this can be done in any Ninja Foodie appliance using the roast setting. We'll do 350. I'm saying it's gonna take about 30 minutes, but again, I don't like to tell you guys how long something's gonna take, especially when it comes to proteins. All right, so we're gonna keep an eye on it, check the temperatures. We're gonna pull out these hens when the breast hits 160 internal, okay? When that happens, we're gonna pull them out, let them rest, the carryover will take it to 165, and then we'll, uh, we'll get down on these, all right? Pretty simple cook as far as seasoning goes, besides the dry brine we already did. I'm gonna use a little uh, Cosmos Q uh, beer can chicken rub. Figured, hey, why not? They're, they're little chickens. <laughs> We're gonna use a little avocado oil to get it, you know, tacky on the outside so the, the barbecue rub sticks. I'm gonna put about a half a stick of butter in each cavity with a little bit of rosemary, straight from my, uh, my little garden back here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just a little extra flavor and parts in there. So, nothing left to do but to get to it. Let's get to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as, that's right, my kitchen island. Let's get started. Okay, time to get these birds prepped. I'm gonna get some gloves on. Now we're using beer can chicken, the best rub from Cosmos Q. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little in the cavity Okay. Next up, we got a couple, couple sprigs of rosemary from my uh, little garden back there. Bunch them up, put them in the cavity, grab a stick of butter, and just get a little, get a little personal with your bird. <laughs> the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these uh, wing tips behind just so they don't burn. All right, more rosemary. Get a little personal with the bird. I love it. <laughs> uh, other stick of butter. It's just, you know, don't mind me. Enjoy your day, guys. Girls, they're hens, right? This poor one not only did it uh, gave its life for us, but it gave its leg. It busted. Poor little leg. Anyway, <laughs> let's get the rub on. We're gonna go ahead and spray down the outside with avocado oil. This is gonna help in crisping the skin and it's gonna help that rub stick. Flip them over, just a little bit on the outside. I'm gonna go in with that beer can chicken rub. Give it a flip. Forgot to tuck the wings on this one. This wing might not stick because it's broken too. Man, they abuse these poor birds before they put them in a little cryo bag. We're just giving it a light coat, light dusting. Right, all seasoned up, looking good. Ready to roll. All right, let's get this grill on. We're gonna use the roast feature, 325. I'm gonna put the time to 30 minutes. Let's look at it preheating. We'll come back, we'll add the birds on to the grill, and we'll be ready to go. So this Cornish Game Hen Cook has been requested quite a few times over the span of using the Ninja Foodie Grills on my channel. Guys, you don't have to have the Foodie Grill and Griddle for this one, any Foodie appliance will work with this, like the Ninja Foodie itself, um, the ovens, all the Ninja Foodie grills, all those things you can roast in, right? And you can do these birds in there. 
when I'm talking about cooking proteins, steak, chicken, pork, whatever, I'm cooking to internal temperatures. I set it for 30 minutes, it may take more, it may take less. We're gonna pay attention, we're gonna use my instant read thermometer. Um, guys, I really, really preach that you guys get an instant read thermometer. If you want mine, I'll put a link down below to my website, you can get one, but get yourself any kind of instant read thermometer. I, I could use the probe for this one, but these little birdies are so small that I'm just, I don't think I need it. I'd rather just, you know, kind of wait about 20 minutes, give it a check, and then, you know, use our instant read thermometer and check the temperature. So it's really simple. We're taking it to 160 uh, Fahrenheit internal on the breast, and then we're gonna pull it, let it rest, come up to that 165 that's recommended for poultry, all right? And then we'll cut into it. This is almost done preheating. Get these birds on, y'all stick around. But better yet, hit that thumbs up, all right? We're ready to get those birds on. Team, we're about 15 minutes in. I just want to get an idea where we are as far as temps go. All right, we're still about 100 in the breast, so we got some time. Yeah, okay. Another 15 minutes, and we'll check it again. About 19 minutes into the cook. I noticed that the back was starting to get a little too crispy on there, starting to brown up a little bit more. It wasn't quite as even as the front. All right, so I went ahead and rotated the bird. Maybe about halfway through your cooks, you rotate the birds around, get the more even cooking in there. So a little tip. Okay, 30 minutes is up. Let's check our temps. We wanna make sure that we're 160-ish in the breast right here. All right, so that's reading 145. See this one? So the littler one of the two is done. We'll give this one another five minutes. So I'm gonna pull out the little one, let that start resting. That one has plenty of temp. Go ahead and shut this back down, get it back on roast, and we'll go another five minutes. All right, come on back. Okay, so that's the perfect example of why I tell you guys to cook to internal temperatures, why you need an instant read thermometer. Those two hens are two different sizes, right? One's done, one is not, right? So if we just kind of went off of time, we'd have one bird that's not quite done, right? So if I just told you 30 minutes, one of the birds wouldn't be done. So again, you guys gotta think, internal temperatures is where it's at. We know to go another five minutes or so with that bigger of the two birds. Pull the other one out, right? Pretty simple arithmetic right there. You know, pay attention to those internal temperatures. This one's almost done. And we'll be able to cut into these bad boys and you know, eat a little baby chicken. <laughs> yeah, this bird's temping out just a little bit over 160. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out, let it rest, get all this cleaned up, plate it up, and then we'll chop into it and give it a bite. Okay, team, we got everything, all the pictures taken, all that jazz. So basically I'm gonna chop into these bad boys, not trying to carve them like a, a normal chicken, but I'm gonna kind of take off all the pieces. Get yourself a sharp knife. I mean, you can see the juice is in there. The board is just covered in juice. You got a nice little chicken leg right there. We pull off some of the breast meat. So you guys can see, I don't know if you can tell, but nice and juicy. That's what happens when you cook to internal temperatures, right? Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut a couple more pieces off. Guys, this is, you know, this is rusted caveman style. Cut off the piece you want, you're good to go. Come on back, let's try it. Team, let's go ahead and try a bite. We got a little bitty leg right there. Mm. Yeah, mm. that is definitely towel worthy. Juicy as can be. Mm. Little, little bite of the breast meat. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, guys, good stuff. Butter and the rosemary in there kind of steamed, kind of added a little flavor on the inside, right? That seasoning on the outside. Guys, you can use whatever seasoning you want. If you want the same stuff I used, I'll put a link down below to Cosmos Q. But these little birdies are amazing. Again, we talked about it, internal temps, right? One took a little bit longer than the other. Not a big deal. Very, very tasty. I mean, not much more to say on that one. Team, if you want to get yourself one of these Ninja Foodie Grilla Griddles, I'll put a link down below. Hats, merch, thermometers, uh, my personalized cutting boards. Guys, when I say they're personalized, they're not personalized to CJ, they're personalized to you. I'll have a link down below to Haley Hum. Check them out. Great cutting boards. This is my showpiece on pretty much every one of my videos. So check those out. Everything I use in my videos, hit show more underneath this video and you'll be able to see all the links. So you need to get anything I got. Okay. If you want to become a show producer like all these awesome people right here, beautiful, smart, funny, witty people, <laughs> hit that join button. It's right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we are done. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.